Hello everyone and welcome to my session on softwares. In this video, we are going to learn about the softwares. We are going to see in details about the various types of softwares, the system software and the application softwares. These different types of softwares are required for the smooth functioning of the computers. Now, before learning about the various types of softwares, you must be aware of these terms hardware, software, liveware and the firmware. Now, let's see what is hardware. Hardware, it is the physical and the tangible parts of the computers that can be seen or touched means the parts of the computers that can be seen and touched by you will be called as the hardwares. For example, the input devices, the output devices, CPU and the storage devices. All these parts can be seen by you or any other parts of the computers that you can see will be called as the hardwares. Now, what is software? It is a set of instruction it is a program and it is the set of instruction that directs the computer to perform the specific task or the operations now what does it mean ye ek program hai instructions hai computers ke liye now they are written or they direct something to the computer for the functioning of some specific task अब प्रोग्राम है तो कंप्यूटर का प्रोग्राम हम रन कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसकी कोडिंग हम नहीं देख सकते हैं तो वी कैन जस्ट रन दैट प्रोग्राम दैट इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज द सॉफ्टवेयर सो सॉफ्टवेयर कैन नॉट बी सीन बट वी कैन रन दैट सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन आवर कंप्यूटर्स हमारे कंप्यूटर्स में ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम होता है फॉर एग्जांपल विंडोज it is the operating system that is in installed in your computers mobiles may be aapke operating systems hote hain so operating system cannot be seen but the functioning of the operating system can be used ms office is again another example of the software adobe chrome these are all the examples of the softwares next term is the liveware now liveware means the persons or the users who are using the computers in their day to day life will be called as the livewares so you are the uh, livewares i am the livewares or any other person who is working on the computers will be called as the liveware next term is firmware now firmware it is the instruction written embedded on the hardware means if any instructions or any coding it is written on the computer hardware then it will be called as the firmware for example the rom theek hai rom it is a type of primary memory we have seen in the earlier videos so rom ab ki ek primary memory hai now it is just a readable memory you cannot change the Uh, data from the rom you can just read the data that's why the name is read only memory now some instructions are embedded on this rom so the instructions are embedded on this hardware hence it is an example of firmware so bios instructions on the rom chip will be an example of firmware so now all these terms are clear hardware can be seen softwares cannot be seen liveware means the persons who are using the computers firmware means the instructions which are written on the hardware now let's see the types of softwares there are various types of softwares that we use so software it is broadly classified as system software and the application softwares these are the two parts of these softwares now again this system software it is divided as operating system and the language processor now as you can see the name system software system 
को ऑपरेट करने वाला सॉफ्टवेयर सो सिस्टम को ऑपरेट करने के लिए वी नीड द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम विल बी द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट विल ऑपरेट द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम नाउ अगेन द कंप्यूटर डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द बाइनरी डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द ह्यूमन लैंग्वेज सो दैट हैज टू बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू द बाइनरी कोड एंड दैट कैन बी डन बाय द सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल्ड एज लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसर नाउ these are the examples of the operating system windows linux language processors ke examples dekhiye compiler interpreter these are the names of the language processors now let's see application software now application software again it is divided into three parts the first one is the general purpose software the second one is the customized software and the third part of application software is the utilities now general purpose means the software that can be used for the general activities day to day life activities as if we are using the word we are using the photoshop or any other software now customized software means the softwares that can be used for the specific applications for example the railway reservation system it is an example of customized invoice it is also the example of customized now utilities utilities are the uh, housekeeping activities of the computers now for the smooth functioning of the computer we need the different softwares that can assist the computers so antivirus it is an example of utility backup text editor these are also the utilities now let's see one by one in detail so this is the system software सो सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर जैसे कि आप नाम से ही देख सकते हैं सिस्टम को रन करने वाला सॉफ्टवेयर सो सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर दैट डायरेक्टली ऑपरेट्स द कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर सो द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट ऑपरेट्स द कंप्यूटर टू प्रोवाइड द बेसिक फंक्शनैलिटी विल बी कॉल्ड एज द सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर एज यू कैन सी हियर सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर सो सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर इट इज द सॉफ्टवेयर that operates the computer system and it provides the basic functionality to the users now we have hardware we have the softwares or you can say the application softwares now in between these two we have in between these two we have the uh, we have the system software in between the hardware that is the computer parts and the applications that we have installed in between these two we have the system software now this system software it is a software that is used to operate the computer hardware means the computer hardware won't be able to communicate with us unless and until the computer has the system software also if we have the different applications installed on your computer but we won't be able to run the applications if we don't have the system software so system software is very much important to operate the computers now the system software you can say the system software it is divided into two parts first one is the operating system and another is language processor now let's see the operating system now operating system it is it uh, it acts as an interface between the user and the hardware so jaise ki is diagram mein aap dekhiye we are the users and this is your computer hardware now you are able to communicate between the your bit means the communications between the user and the computer it takes place with the help of this operating system if the computer do not have the operating system then you won't be able to communicate with the computer so whenever you uh, start the computer the operating system files are loaded and hence uh, we are able to uh, execute our command and the user v as the user can communicate with the computer now operating system it manages the resources now what do you understand by the resources the various 
devices which are connected to the computers will be called as the resources. For example, memory, CPU, hardware, uh, sorry, hard disk, printer, all these are the resources of the computers. So operating system, as you can see in this picture, operating system, it allocates resources. So if I want to print the document, then it is the duty of the operating system to check whether the printer is installed or not or provide the message accordingly. Also, it monitors the various activities of the computers. Also, the files related operations are also handled by the operating system. So, operating system, it is basically the interface. It acts as an interface between the user and the hardware so that we can communicate with the computer. Also, the operating system, it uh, manages the various resources of the computers. Now, these are the various, as you can see, these are the various uh, operating systems that we use. Now, language processor and the device manager. Language processor means language ko process karne wala. We know that the computer can only understand the binary language, that is the zeros and ones language. Whenever we type from the keyboard, the computer can only understand binary. But we, we type the alphabets or any characters from the computer, but computer changes the characters into the combinations of zeros and ones. As you can see here, this is the combination of zeros and ones. So, jo bhi hum alphabet type karte hai, all those alphabets or the words, they are converted into the combinations of zeros and ones. Now, for this conversion, we need the language processors. So, language processor ka kya kaam hai? It is basically a software. So, language processor software, ye kya kaam karega? It will convert the high level language into the low level language. Now, high level, high level ka matlab kya ho gaya? Computer ke hisaap se ye high level hai. So, computer ke hisaap se high level language ho gai humari human language because the computers do not understand the human language. So, it is high level for the computers. So, the language processors, they convert the high level language into the low level language. Now, low level language for the computers will be the binary language. So, now it is the responsibility of the language processor to convert the high level language into the low level language. Now, also we have the different devices uh, or the various devices which are attached to the computers. So, for that we need the device drivers. Now, what is device driver? It is a program. It is also the software. So, it is a program that controls the device. So, there are many devices such as mouse, keyboard, modem or any other devices. Any device uh, which is attached to the computer, it needs the device driver. So, it is also installed in your computer. And language processor, it is a software that converts the high level language into the low level language. Now, these are the two operating system and language processor. These are the two examples or the types of system softwares. Now, let's see application software. As you can see, application software means the software which is used for specific application. So, application software, it is the software which is used to perform the specific applications or the specific task. For example, you have to you make the document. Okay? For example, you have to make a document or you have to make a presentation. For that, you will use the specific software. For document, you will use the MS Word. For presentation, you will use this PowerPoint. Clear? For watching the movie, you will use this VLC. For playing the games, now there are different types of games. So, you need the different type of software. So, you can use the games as per your choice. So, for each and everything, we have the different types of softwares. 
Now in this diagram, you can see we have the hardware, we have the operating system, we have the applications installed on your computer. Now, hardware and the user means the computer and the user can communicate with each other if the computer has the operating system installed on it as well as the computer has the various applications needed for the task. So, if the computer has the operating system and the computer has the various applications, then only the hardware can be used by the user or we can easily communicate with the computer hardware. So, this operating system, it is the interface between the user and the hardware. Now, this is the type of application software that is general purpose software. So, general purpose software, it is the software which is used for day to day application. It is the, it is the software that can be used for common users and that can be used for day to day applications. For example, we use the Word document for creating the documents, access Excel for creating the list of students or for creating any data. We use the PowerPoint for the presentations. Okay? We use the mailing softwares. For example, we use the Gmail. Also, we use the Outlook mail. Similarly, we have the different types of softwares that can be used for the day-to-day -day applications or day-to-day -day use. So, that's why these are called as the general purpose softwares. Next is customized software. Now, these softwares are also called as the tailor-made softwares. Now, tailor-made software means the software which is made for an organization. It is made for an organization and for the use of the organization means the software which is which is developed for the specific requirement of the particular organization and that can be used only by that organization jis tarah se tailor aapke kapdon ko stitch karta hai as per your requirement as per your measurement just like that only this customized softwares are developed for the specific requirement of the particular organization. For example, hotel management software. This software can be used for the hotel only. Reservation system software. So, this software can be used <coughs> for the reservation purpose. Next is weather forecasting system. This is the software which can be used for the weather forecasting now, these are the examples that I have shown you here. Indian Railway Booking. This is also the examples of customized software. Attendance software. This is also the examples of the customized software. So, you won't be able to create the Word document or create the PowerPoint using this railway booking software or the attendance system because they are intended to use for their specific function. Now, next is the utilities. Now, utility means it is the housekeeping activity of the computer. It is the computer assistance. Okay? These are the various softwares that provide the assistance to the computer for the smooth functioning of the computer. The examples are disk defragmentation, software updates, system cleanup, encryption, decryption, antivirus. Now, these are the examples of the utilities. Just like in our home, we clean the house, we do the dusting, we do the uh, mopping or we clean the house. In the same way, the computer needs the help of various assistants and that are used to clean or to keep the computers clean, safe and protected. For that, the computer needs these various types of utilities. Now, you are aware of the antivirus. Everyone is aware. Antivirus. 
now it is a software that is installed on the computer so that the computer can uh, be protected from the various viruses again system cleaner now there are certain files that must be removed from the computer the unwanted data from the computer must be removed so that it becomes uh, clean means we can utilize that memory for another file keeping systems now system uh, software updates now software updation is required for the smooth functioning of the computers the from time to time we need to update the various software now next is the uh, disk defragmentation now this word it is made up of two terms fragment and defragment so fragment means just break break it or divide it and defragment means join it clear yeah? so what does this disk defragmentation means the various files which are stored on the hard disk take care when we open the file the files get joined and it gets opened on your monitor next is encryption decryption now encryption decryption the example can be uh, everyone is using the gsuit account so this gsuit account have the passwords so whenever we enter the password the password is in the form of encrypted form encrypted means when you type the password you can see the dots or you can see star or any other symbol but not the exact characters so the characters are hidden for the security purpose so we are encrypting the data we are hiding the data for the system protection so these are the various utilities that can be used by the computers for the smooth functioning of the computers so in this way the computers has different types of softwares and that can be used simultaneously for the working of the computer thank you so much have a nice day